So last year we invested a lot of money in uh, lithium batteries, like a lot of people have. And before we did that, we changed out the MPPT and we also changed out the DC to DC charger. And one of the functions that we wanted was smart communication. We wanted to be able to check the condition of our lithium batteries and make sure that everything was doing what it should be doing, state of charge and all the rest of it. That got me to thinking, we have another battery on the van and we don't do anything with it, we don't do any maintenance. So I've got this battery analyzer and it's just a dinky little bit of kit, 24 quid off the internet, I'll put a link in the description below. And it's from Kingberlin, it's the BM550. And this is a battery analyzer. So over the next few days, I'm gonna use this and see what condition our battery's in. We haven't used the van for a little while. So hopefully this will show us how the battery's performing. The tool we're going to be using today is the Kimberland BM550. It's a battery analyzer and it's a great little product. Well put together. The crocodile clips are good and strong. They've got a reinforced jaw on one side. And I think for a product that's only 24 quid, they're quality. They are quality. It feels good. It feels tough, rugged. Buttons are good, big, so sausage fingers like mine can operate it. But it has some key features that I think are pretty good. Um, I've never had a battery analyzer before, so this might be, um, <laughs> it might have features that everyone has, but I don't know. So I'll just run through what I found was interesting. It can tell you the, the amps that are actually available. Each battery will have a, an amount that it, it's supposed to hold. So my battery is 720 amps, that's a CCA, cold crank amper. This will measure what is actually available. It'll also tell you the state of health. It'll also tell you the state of charge. It'll also tell you how much resistance is in your battery. If you've got a high resistance, this is a good indicator that there's something untoward going on with your battery and you, you need to put a, a little bit of effort into maintaining it or cleaning up what's wrong with it or conditioning it. It'll also tell you how many volts are actually held in your battery and it'll also tell you if, you get, if your battery is good, normal or, or poor. And from that you can decide what you're going to do with it. So let's get stuck in. I think this is a great little product, like I say, 24 quid, well put together. I'm going to give it, put it through the spaces. Hmm, the batteries are under there, but we've not tidied up since the last time we were out. First job's first, we'll hoover this mess up and then we'll get to the battery. Doesn't that look better? <laughs> Tidy. When I fitted this carpet, I decided it'd be an advantage if we put some popper studs on it. And I tell you what, one of the best decisions I've made, if this carpet does not move, it sits in position all the time, where previously, it would have just slid around. Right, we just need to take this cover off here, take this part out, and we're on the battery. Just my luck. As soon as I start this, the heavens open. Let's get the gear out. Oh, hopefully that's going to pass. Um, it's always a way, isn't it? Let's see. The clouds are coming in. Oh, I'd say that'll pass in a couple of minutes. Once you remove that section of the flooring, it'll explode, expose, explode, it'll expose <laughs> your battery cover. So these screws here, just pack them off a couple of turns and that'll allow you just to lift the panel off. You don't need to take them screws completely out. And there you are, you're right onto your battery now. Okay, let's sort things out here, remove that cover. We've got a charger, battery tester. Charger. We've got the battery tester down here. Now we're gonna just look and see where we are with this battery. So first things first, connect it up. Um, there is a system built into this little tester that protects it from reverse polarity. Um, no need to show you that. First thing you've got to do on this little charger, so I don't know if you can see that select what type of battery it is so we know it's a 12 volt so we'll click that then it's asking for your um 
called crank. That CCA, the value it's asking for there is your core crank amps. Any battery there, it's 70 amps. Se uh, sorry, 720 amps. So let's just step this up. Just keep the button pressed in and it'll run up there to 720. So we'll click OK and then it'll start analysing the battery. Hmm, so it's saying there's 502. I take it that's the actual ampage that you've got available to crank. That's looking like the state of health, SOH, is 49%. The state of charge is zero. Um, there's 5.16 ohms of resistance in the battery and it's sitting at just below 12 volts. So, there's one, left. one more thing on there I'll discuss with you. It says the battery is normal. Now, I wouldn't have said there were normal values then, but I haven't started this van in... When was the last time I drove it? Probably, probably a week since I last drove this van. Um, we have got trackers on it. Obviously, we've got our um, immobiliser and alarm system that will trickle away at the battery. So, for me, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not too bothered about that. Um, what we'll do is we'll give the van a run. Um, we'll take it out and we'll do, we'll, we'll repeat all this later and see how it looks then. So while we're here, let's see how our lithium battery is performing. So it's got a, it's a two hundred, it's a two hundred thirty amp battery. Um, I've put that in, but in all honesty, we don't have a CCA for it, so we're just we're just going to use that as as a guide. I'm not really going to take any notice of that result. So let's see what comes back with. So, like I say, that's I don't know <laughs> what relevance that value has to what we're doing here. But I'm going for the state of health, which is 100%, something I would expect, because we look after these batteries um, quite well. State of charge, 98%, happy with that. Resistance, 2.26 milliohms, that's really low. And uh, we're sitting at 13.54 volts. Sorry, 13.35 <laughs> volts. That's my dyslexia creeping back in. Anyway, battery's good, I'm happy with that, and it works on lithium, so we can just uh, we can take a bit of knowledge away from this that you can use it on anything, any battery. Well, we've had a little run out in the van um, from about the last half hour, so what we're going to do is we're going to connect up the battery analyzer and see how the values have changed. The risk has changed. Let's have a little look at this. So, go through the same steps as before. Hold that on there. Let's go up to 720. Click OK, and it'll start analysing the battery. So, we've got 579 amps for cranking. State of health is at 65%, state of charge is 63%, resistance on the battery is 4.49 ohms, and we're at 12.38 on our battery. So if your van's sitting around and you're not using it, obviously your batteries are going to deplete. We've took that for a little run, uh, half an hour or so, and it's put a little bit more charge and it's improved all the values. So we're going to use it for a few days and um, see how that benefits our batteries. Thinking about it, running around in the van would probably take more out of the battery than I would put back into it. So I wouldn't achieve what I was trying to achieve. At the weekends we kind of do a lot of short journeys, something that really we should be avoiding um, in the winter time. But, you know, we, we, we go and do the shopping, we drop the kids off at... Uh, at places we go to football matches all that all them good things you know so rather than run around in the van taking more out of the battery 
we're going to put the battery on charge and before we do that I'm just going to talk you through this <laughs> this is our little battery charger now a lot of people have commented in the past about it being under undersized and I agree with them but I didn't buy this just for the van this is kind of a last resort for the van so why did I buy this this is a trickle charger battery repairer battery reconditioner all in one unit you can use it in all different types it's smart it knows um, how to perform to get the best back into your battery and I know that might sound a bit out there but it is it, it has it, one of the key functions it's got it has a built-in temperature sensor so it knows if it's in a hot country so it'll charge your battery where it won't overcharge it and in in a cold country it won't undercharge it it's a great feature and you know if you live somewhere where you get hot summers and cold winters it's a brilliant product for that as well it'll also detect if there's something going on with your battery so say you've got uh, lead sulfur crystals building up on the faces of your plates it can detect that it can also detect um, if you've got acid uh, I can't remember the word but basically where the sulfuric acid is concentrated in the bottom of your battery certification I think it is so it can detect that and it has a feature built into it where it will use pulse technology to recondition your battery to clean the plates to get everything back up and running because that corrosion on your plates builds up the resistance and basically makes it harder to charge your battery your batteries will take longer to charge and you know it's it's not very good for them so this is a great little bit of kit and the fact that you can use it on i think this is a 12 a 6 volt 12 volt yeah it is but there is 6 volt 12 volt and 24 volt versions out there we love this product um, this isn't a pay promotion by any means it's one of the best bits of kit I've bought in hindsight I should have maybe bought one a bit bigger a 15 a 30 something like that but it is what it is I charge my batteries over long periods so this you can leave on your battery and there is no fear that you are going to overcharge it you can basically leave this on 24 7 and it won't damage your batteries it is intelligent and what it does once it stops charging them it starts conditioning them brilliant little kit 80 quid off amazon again have it on amazon but yeah anyway we're going to put this on the van and you can see how it works when you're checking your battery look for corrosion around the terminals make sure all your connections are good and tight all the cables that are connected to it are good and tight same on this just you know get your hands in there but every now and then just go around your spanner make sure that nothing is loose also check your battery secure if this is bouncing around it will weaken these connections loosen them off they will then arc and that arcing will damage the internals of your battery so try and avoid that by doing regular checks on your battery terminals I'm just about to put it on the van and I'm going to show you a couple of little neat features on it. This is a connection. So on this end we've got crocodile clips. But if you want a hard wired connection, you can have that wire to your battery stuck up somewhere where you don't have to disconnect or strip out all of this to get at it. You would just split the connection there and take it away. So that allows you to buy multiple ends and fit them to multiple vehicles. So if you want to charge something, you're not stripping out all your insulation or covers and all the rest of it. So I'm actually going to purchase a connection that will go up and just sit under under this area here where the tools are for if the van gets a puncher. So let's get this stuck on. Oh yeah, let me show you these. Now these are absolute quality. Look at the look at the build on them. And they are so well put together. Look how they're connected. So, quality product again. So let's get it stuck on and show you how it works. So, that's that plugged on. Plug it in, switch it on, and there you go, straight on. So, my battery's AGM. 
so it's still on the setting that I last used but if you look there you've got 12 volt you've got AGM you've got lithium and you've also got the 6 volt there's the repair setting so if your battery's knackered you can override it um, I don't know how to do that because I've, I've not done it in a while but it might even do it automatically so as you can see there it starts with a slow charge trickling in and it builds up and then when it's conditioning the end light pulses so we'll leave that for a while and we'll come back to it right battery's been on charge now for well over a day um say about 36 hours so we're going to take the charger off and we're going to measure the values again on the battery so let's just turn that off take that off there and that's us that's us plugged in let's show you the screen so yeah we're on 12 volts again let's just ramp this up to 1 to 720 Click OK and let it do its thing. So we're at 610. 72% state of health. 98% state of charge. 4.25. And the battery's in good health. And yeah, 12.83. You look in the bottom, battery's good. I think that's as good as we're going to get for that battery. It is six years old. Um, it has had a couple of years off during COVID and during the van conversion. Has that been a good thing? Don't know. So what we'll do is, um, I'm not going to use this van for the next week, so I'm going to leave that charger on there, conditioning the battery, and we'll just see if anything changes after a week of charging it. I like this little battery analyzer that much i'm going to buy another one and i'm going to give you guys the opportunity to win it just make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you like and leave a comment and i'll uh, i'll draw a winner so get clicking so a few tips on how to look after your batteries really do avoid short journeys you know if you're going to make a journey of just a few minutes and you're going to do that multiple times you're taking out more from your battery than you're actually putting back in realistically short journeys are unavoidable we have to make them but there's things that we can consider while we're making these journeys don't run unnecessary bits of equipment you know do you need to charge your phone while you're driving do you need the radio on do you need the ac on do you need to have the heaters on full bore all these things take power out of your battery. You've already took a lump out by starting your van. So by not using all these gadgets, you can allow a little bit more charge back into your batteries. We're very conscious about conserving energy in our homes and at work. In winter time and, and times where your battery could be damaged, you need to kind of like consider how much energy you take out of that battery. Because if your battery's sitting in a depleted state, um, where it's, it's not at full charge, things, chemical processes are afoot and in, in, in time they will damage your battery. So please consider when you're pulling up, you don't automatically turn your ignition off. If you've got a few things to sort out before you get out of the van, just leave your van running for them extra few minutes and they will put that little bit of charge back in your battery and help prolong its life. Another thing to consider is in winter, if you're not using your van, can you put it under cover? Can you put it in a place where it's not going to be affected by the wind and the cold? If you can do this, that's great. You're going to help your batteries no end. But another thing to consider is charging your batteries. If it's parked up and it's near your property, charge your batteries. Get a little charger like we've got here and uh, just plug it in and leave it to do its business. When you go on your next adventure, you know you're going to come to a fully charged battery, a fully conditioned battery, and if it's had any problems, hopefully they've been repaired. 
but the best tip I have is maintenance look after that battery because it's that battery that says whether either you're going on a journey or you're not so regular maintenance do the inspections check the terminals check for corrosion check that it's secure and put your battery analyzer on there and that will keep you in good stead so the next time you come to jump in your van and shoot off you know that your battery is in the best condition it can possibly be well where i live we have a saying every day is a school day and with this video it has been because i had to go away and do a little bit of research myself into how batteries work and how they're affected by cold and what what actually destroys them and um, i've learned a little bit and i hope that's come through in this video i hope you've enjoyed it it's something i'd never considered and i'll be honest with you until i looked at this battery analyzer it was something that wasn't on my radar but it is now and it's going to be something i'll definitely incorporate into my maintenance regime anyway thanks for watching and remember if you want to win one of these I, I like it that much i'm going to give you guys the opportunity to win one make sure you're subscribed like and leave a comment and we'll use a comment picker once we get up to 100 likes or up up near 100 likes we'll draw the competition anyway thanks for watching and we'll see you again take care thank you for your continued support if you like what we're doing consider subscribing liking and sharing with your friends also you can follow us on facebook and instagram thanks for watching and until next time take care